Oppenheimer, what is an H-bomb? J. Robert Oppenheimer is widely known as the father of the atomic bomb, the weapon that devastated the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 and ushered in the nuclear age. But Oppenheimer was also involved in a debate over another type of nuclear weapon, the hydrogen bomb, or H-bomb, which is much more powerful and destructive than the atomic bomb. What is an H-bomb and what was Oppenheimer's role in its development? An H-bomb is a thermonuclear weapon that uses both nuclear fission and fusion to create a massive explosion. Unlike an atomic bomb, which relies on splitting heavy atoms like uranium or plutonium, an H-bomb fuses light atoms like hydrogen to release even more energy. The basic principle of an H-bomb is to use a small atomic bomb as a trigger to ignite a fusion reaction in a secondary chamber filled with hydrogen isotopes. The result is a blast that can be hundreds or thousands of times more powerful than an atomic bomb. The first H-bomb was detonated by the United States in 1952, in an operation codenamed Ivy Mike. The test took place at Ennewetic Atoll in the Pacific Ocean and had a yield of 10.4 megatons, equivalent to 10.4 million tons of TNT. The blast vaporized the island where it was detonated and created a mushroom cloud that rose 27 miles into the air. The largest H-bomb ever detonated by the United States was Castle Bravo, which had a yield of 15 megatons and was tested at Bikini Atoll in 1954. The largest H-bomb ever detonated by any country was Tsar Bomba, which had a yield of 50 megatons and was tested by the Soviet Union in 1961. Oppenheimer was opposed to the development of the H-bomb, arguing that it was morally wrong and strategically unnecessary. He believed that atomic bombs were already sufficient to deter any enemy and that pursuing more powerful weapons would only escalate the arms race and increase the risk of nuclear war. He also had doubts about the feasibility and safety of the H-bomb design, which was proposed by his former colleague Edward Teller. Oppenheimer feared that the fusion reaction could ignite the atmosphere or the oceans and cause global catastrophe. Oppenheimer expressed his views to President Harry Truman and other officials, but he was overruled by political and military leaders who saw the H-bomb as a vital tool to counter the Soviet threat. The U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, which oversaw the nuclear program, decided to proceed with the H-bomb project in 1950. Oppenheimer's opposition to the H-bomb contributed to his downfall as a leader of the scientific community and a trusted advisor to the government. In 1953, he was accused of being a security risk and a communist sympathizer, based on his past associations and his stance on nuclear policy. He was stripped of his security clearance and banned from working on classified projects after a controversial hearing that questioned his loyalty and integrity. He spent the rest of his life as a professor at Princeton University, where he died in 1967. Oppenheimer's legacy remains complex and controversial. He is revered by many as a genius who helped end World War II and advance science, but also reviled by some as a traitor who betrayed his country and unleashed a destructive force on humanity. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for more news.